Ho oh, ho ho! It's a veritable feast! Uh. I would love if you could punch stuff with the heart. <laughs> Or just yeah, yeah, have the heart tell you about the jello. <laughs> I prefer the. It line. used to be a it used to be a horse named Biscuit. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> its He's... owner loved him, but. Had to... But not as much as the jello. Not as much as the jello pudding company. <laughs> Now we're in the basement. Use the basement vault key. Ooh. Got a trove here. Room. Tivy and ore. Gold. Gold. Yep. A lot of gold. 400 yep. coins worth of gold. And 150 coin earned. Nice. And a bunch of whale oil, for some reason. It was the Undertaker's earn. <laughs> oh! Hey, th hey, there's our buddy! Where is she? Uh, Hurry, bring her to got me. some bad news. She's no longer quite in, you know, mint condition. I'm not sure how much of a pervert you are, so... I'll just take your wallet and... Yeah, you just stay down in the creepy dungeon, okay? <laughs> it, it suits you. I mean, best case scenario, he takes her and, like, she's just unhappy. Oh, Brad! <laughs> Oof. Well, remember, the outsider says, you know, I've seen all her tomorrows, and either she dies tonight by your hand, or she lives out month after month, year after year, as her fine clothes wear to tatters, and... So I assume it's kind of going to be kind of rough going. Yeah. But I mean, fine clothes wear to tatters is not such a bad thing, but... In the, in the context of being the prisoner of a madman in a mankind mask. Yes. I wanted to see if you could break that window. No, I can't. I mean, and is, she, is he gonna be, like, Dude Love or Cactus Jack? That 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 does sort of summarize the the, the spectrum of human relationships. Yes. <laughs> Will you be dude love or cactus check? That should be the alignment system in some game instead of good or evil. Just dude love cactus jack. We'll, we'll kickstart it. Oh, yeah, that, no, all right. Good idea. Good thinking. All right. Now we get out of here. Doing a bang up job. Bang doing a bang up job tonight, fellas. Excellent. Everyone in there is so safe. There's a bone charm yet to be had. See, note those point. Note the pointiness over there. Yes. Oh, and now, oh, right into a nest of rats. You think I'd learn? Samuel has moved. Find him past the canal. Gate. Okay, the extra. Yeah, the extraction point changes on you. I don't Why? know if that's just a high chaos thing or if it's both. Because you took too long. I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. Like I said, it might be a high chaos specific thing. I don't think it's because of how long you take though. I'm pretty sure it's not. Ah, oh, Weeper. Oh, remember what I said about letting Weepers get a hold of you? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, didn't take any chances there. And they take some killing, too. They're sick, but they're durable. <laughs> All right. This, this place is unpleasant. is a shriveled prick and a liar. <laughs> Actually, I kind of wish the graffiti was a little more diverse, too, because by the time you get into, like, a mission or two, you've seen all of it. Yeah. 
It's, I mean, it's a very small thing in the larger scheme of things. Um. Uh, so, have you ever played Left 4 Dead 2? No. The graffiti in the Left 4 Dead games is amazing. Yeah, but the really? lore. So, there's not much of a story in Left 4 Dead, and a lot of it gets told in the graffiti. Really? And, yeah, and in Left 4 Dead 2, you're following this map, this um, trail. You know, blazed by other similar survivors. Ooh, a new bone charm. Uh, what, what one is it? Twist of fortune. Is it? Oh, it's that albinos. Okay. Like when summoning rats get make more, they'll get more likely to get white rats or something like that because the white rats are the big ones. Right. Um. And so. There's these notes about this guy who calls himself Chicago Ted. Interesting. Right? And, like, as you go on, there's more and more notes, and by the end, they're like, yo, Chicago Ted just rolled through here and cleared the whole place out. Can stop Chicago Ted. And he's just, like, this, uh... This guy that's supposed to be, like, this super expert zombie hunter. Do you ever encounter him? No, you never do. All the graffiti is like, I just... <laughs> Chicago Ted cleared the way for me. Chicago Ted's amazing. Do we know... Are we sure that it isn't Chicago Ted spraying all this? It, it might be. <laughs> I mean, maybe well maybe he's be. just a very avid self-promoter. <laughs> Even in the zombie apocalypse. Well, you know, branding still matters. It'll always matter. More than ever, really. <laughs> when you think about it. Now to the extraction. At last. Damn bell's still ringing. Yeah, the Undertaker's still walking. Somewhere. I wonder how many wrestling jokes I can fit into this. <laughs> You notice there's some more. I believe the. I believe that. Yeah, new additional tall boys appear. Afterwards. After, after the assassination. Yeah, that happens. That happens in most levels. That like more guards or whatever will spawn after the, you carry out the the hit. Yeah, but those guards right outside that. uh... They hadn't got. They hadn't gotten the message yet. No. No. Or maybe they. they, they, they their union has a contract saying that spe that they guard that specific spot, and if like if. If they have to chase me across the river, it's overtime pay or something. As far as they knew, everything was like dory inside. You talk to them still. Hey, the fireworks have stopped. I didn't notice that, but yeah, the fireworks stopped. I wonder if they stop... Um... Always. Like, even if you didn't make a scene. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. A lot of... A lot of unpleasant guy. A lot of unpleasantness, potentially, down there. We've seen what the tall boys can do. Just up down here. I died there, as you can. What do you know? Ah, oh, there we go. I love doing that so much. Nice. So very, very much. Nick, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I hear a bunch of clicking and. Oh no, I was just throwing something away. Oh, okay. That tower against that moon is... Creepy. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. It, is. it actually makes me wonder, do you think that's Skybox or... It's gotta be 3D rendered, right? Because it you mean moved the tower? A you mean the clock tower part? Yeah. 
It moves a little when you shift your perspective. So it must be rendered against a background okay. instead of just static. I don't know. I don't really know enough about the specific of how that works. Well, like if it was just a background, like a skybox, then it okay. would be yeah, right. then it would all then move together, yeah. Not moving. So I imagine the clock tower must be pre-rendered. Can they like the skybox? Can they like layer it so that there's like stuff move, like have like parallax or how? Oh, I guess they could. I don't know. That's a good question. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way quickly. Let's get out of here. Was it a pleasant evening's murder? Or... I wonder what Samuel does to pass the time while he's waiting for me. Thirty-one kills. 12 dead or two civilian kills. Hi, Chaos. So oh, special action. Signed the guest ledger. Nice. Coins found. 4,163 4, out of 4,915. Yeah, you made out like a bandit. Yep. And I found both the Sokolov paintings all the ch and all the charms and runes. With the removal of... All right. Now we're on our way back. Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. Right. And home sweet home. Quickly unmask. Good to be back. I trust Attention you enjoyed the boils, hospitality. The Oop, note from Courier. Masked man, this note is for you. Your actions have not gone unnoticed. There is a package next to your bed, and a note from the one who wanted you to have it. A humble footman. Yeah. We'll see what that is soon enough. Interesting. Believed to be hiding in a quarantine. Hmm. All citizens must report unexplained lights, odd sounds, and signs of conflict originating with note. Whoever you are, I must thank you for sparing at least part of my family. We all have Emilys, certainly we boil women. <coughs> In a way, you've done me a favor, so you deserve a reward. I've passed this along from one of my servants through another who, who knows another to one of yours. May we never cross paths again. <laughs> Tight-knit family there, huh? You left one of them alive. Well, I think I left two. Do you still get uh, it if you only spare one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. See how many... You should have gotten a brick of gold for every sister you left alive. Hmm. Let's see here. I, I thought you might have accidentally killed the oh, okay. well, maybe Lydia I did. when you shoved her over. Oh, maybe I did! You did get two civilian kills, which I assume. Oh yeah, maybe that was. Yeah, you're right. Maybe. I just, just my mad, my mad stampede through the place. I knocked her over, and that was. You just couldn't take it. Cor Corvo Atano has such an aura of death about him that just close contact can kill people of weak constitution. He is death himself. Hello, love. Death personified. Pretty much. 